Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for being here at uh, Cerritos Sheriff Station Community Center and uh, joining us to discuss the partnerships that uh, have occurred in order to bring the COVID-19 vaccine clinics. Today's order of speakers will be Sheriff Alex Villanueva, Supervisor Janice Hahn, Mayor Norris Solanke, Dr. Sean Kosari of the Center for Family Health and Education, and also Mr. Cesar Landeros from Center for Family Health and Education. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce the Sheriff of Los Angeles County, Sheriff Alex Villanueva. Thank you, John. Good morning and thank you everyone for being here. I wanna thank Supervisor Janice Hahn, Mayor Solanke, all the members of the City Council of Cerritos and all the good folks from the Center for Family Health and Education for being here. This is definitely a good venture. After more than a year of uncertainty, lockdowns and health concerns, it gives me great pleasure to highlight the fact this week that the COVID-19 test positivity rate yeah. dropped yeah. to the lowest it's been since the pandemic began a year ago. That's pretty cool. That pretty cool. It has not been easy. Many of us have endured the death of family, friends, and coworkers, suffered economic losses, been hospitalized, but little by little, we're headed in the positive direction. Right. Although we might share different opinions at times, the Board of Supervisors and I ultimately have the same goal when it comes to the health and wellness of the residents of Los Angeles County. We are grateful for their role in working to keep the community safe. This has been a difficult task for all, but we continue moving forward. Now, Supervisor Hahn, thank you again for finding time in your busy schedule to be here today. You've been a great voice of support for the Sheriff's Department on important issues like equipping our personnel with the body-worn cameras, the COVID-19 Super Spreader Task Force, and now our collaboration to support to provide vaccination clinics so everyone who wants to receive a vaccine can be vaccinated in a safe and convenient manner. I'd also like to thank Mayor Naresh Solanke from the City of Cerritos, Dr. Sean Kosari and, and Cesar Landeros from the Center for Family Health and Education for joining us here today. So thank you all. In addition to our deputies' daily calls for service, homicides, and rescues, when the vaccine finally arrived, our department immediately looked for ways to help in the fight against the COVID-19 virus. So we partnered with health groups across the county to provide vaccination clinics for the community. As you can see, we are hosting a public vaccination clinic here today with about 800 vaccines anticipated to be administered. To date, we have held 12 of these COVID vaccination clinics with a plan to have five more by the end of this month but it didn't stop with community vaccination clinics. On January 7th uh, this year, we put Operation Homebound into motion. This program to design to vaccinate the most underrepresented homebound and underserved disabled residents in our communities, including those experiencing homelessness. Our deputy sheriff personnel who are state and nationally certified paramedics and emergency medical technicians administer the vaccines. We work with local community-based organizations like Integrated Community Collaborative and Disability Voices United to connect with LA County residents most in need. They go to their residences and provide them with life-saving opportunity. If you fall into this category and need our help, please contact your local Sheriff's Patrol Station. Send an email to the Sheriff's Information Bureau at sibmedia24 at lasd.org or you can call area code 213-229-1700 to receive more information about Operation Homebound. You can also go to lsd.org website to find out more about this operation. And currently, everyone over the age of 16 is eligible to get vaccinated. I encourage everybody to make an appointment and get your vaccine. It will help protect you, it will help protect your family, it will help us put a larger dent in this pandemic. Aggressive variants are still out there, so continue to wear your face mask, practice social distancing, and let's help keep everyone safe and health. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn. We got a squirt. Yeah, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sheriff 
Vina Weva, for your words just now, first of all. Uh, so heartfelt, so important uh, that Los Angeles County hears you uh, as our duly elected sheriff speak about health challenges and the importance of vaccines. Thank you for asking me to join you this morning. Um, and let me take a, a moment to thank all the LA County Sheriff's deputies who have been working so hard uh, during this last year, during this pandemic. I really wanna give them uh, a round of applause right now. Thank you, <laughs> deputies. Because you know, law enforcement is not the kind of job you can do from home. You can't work remotely like we encouraged so many other county employees to do this past year. You had to show up uh, on the job and we thank you for that. And we know that this COVID virus hit your department uh, particularly hard. Uh, we think at one point, uh, you know, you, you were down a lot of deputies in terms of those who, who could go to work. And I think you, you lost, uh, uh, I think around 12 of your deputies uh, due to this virus. So your words, Sheriff, are even more meaningful um, because you understand uh, the deadly implications of someone contracting this virus uh, and why it's so important to get vaccinated. Thank you, uh, Mayor Solanke. It's good to be in your city. I understand this is maybe your uh, last day as mayor. Tonight there's gonna be a uh, mayoral transition, although we never know what happens in your city until uh, after the vote is taken. Uh, but thank you uh, for your service. And I hope to, to lob in tonight in a Zoom and, and give you some uh, parting remarks. Uh, thank you, uh, Council Member Hu for, for being here uh, and Council Member Yokohama. Thank you for your service to this city. Uh, as I was saying, you have one of the most beautiful civic centers uh, I think in the county of Los Angeles with the library uh, and the sheriff's uh, station and the performing arts, it's, it's really magnificent. You know, vaccines have been a game changer. The number of people getting sick from COVID-19 in LA County is plummeting. And that's because we've finally been able to vaccinate people and give them the protection they've needed from this virus. At this point in LA County, we've administered well over 6 million vaccinations and we're vaccinating nearly 100,000 people every day. That's how we uh, get out of this pandemic that we've been in. We know the light at the end of the tunnel is there and it's getting brighter with everyone who, t who takes their part and gets a vaccine, that, that light is getting brighter. But that doesn't mean we can pat ourselves on the back and sit on our laurels. laurels. We have to keep working uh, we have to do it quickly. We have to vaccinate as many people as we can, as quickly as we can, uh, particularly those who are uh, most vulnerable. We're in a race against those variants, and I want to win. And the only way we win against those variants is make sure uh, that people get vaccinated. And that's why this partnership like the one today here with the Sheriff's Department is so important. And isn't that great, uh, Sheriff, that, that you all are uh, particularly focusing on those who are homebound? I mean, that, that is so meaningful to me because there are so many people who can't drive to the megapods, who maybe can't even get to their local pharmacy. And you are talking, the Sheriff's Department is actually sending sheriffs uh, to those who are most vulnerable, who need it the most, to their own home. So if you see a sheriff's deputy knock on your door, go ahead and open it. <laughs> Don't be afraid. They're here to help uh, and they're here to give you life saving vaccines. And th that's just great, Sheriff, and I really uh, thank you for that. And bringing the vaccines right here to communities like this here at the Cerrito Station uh, where we're administering 800 vaccines is so important. Uh, we're bringing it right to your community. Mayor Solanke, we're bringing it right here. And that's what's important. And this is just one of the many pop-up clinics that we have in the works. The next one uh, will be April 24th in Artesia and then another one on April 28th in Lakewood. And our message today is simple. If you haven't gotten your vaccine, now is the time. We're bringing these right to you, right to your door, right to your community and getting vaccinated 
is the only thing that protects you and it protects your family and friends and helps us in Los Angeles County build that collective immunity against this virus. We can defeat this pandemic, but we need everyone to do their part. And Sheriff, I can't thank you enough for holding this press conference. Uh, the press is here because of you. And uh, that is important that we get this message out. Thank you very much. If I'm supposed to introduce somebody, I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm the other man of the hour today, uh, the mayor of this great city, Mayor Narish Solanki. Please come up. And I think. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm pleased to, pleased to welcome you to Saito C uh, Civic Center for the today's COVID-19 vaccination s clinic hosted by Los Angeles County Sheriff Community Advisor Council. I would like to take a moment to introduce my council colleague again. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Wo is not here. He is the uh, Torrance Police Department, uh, uh, I guess, has extended that over, so he's working there today, so he's not here. Uh, we have Council Member and former Mayor Grace Yu, uh, Council Member and Frank Ariola Yokoyama. The city of Cerritos is grateful for this opportunity to make COVID-19 vaccination easily accessible for members of our community. Thank you, Los Angeles County, Ele County, Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn, Sheriff Alex Villanueva, the Los Angeles County Sheriff Community Advisor Council, and the Center for Family, Health, and Education for making this vaccine clinic possible. Thank you to everyone for continuing patience and understanding as we work to navigate through this challenging time. The health and safety of Sarito residents and community members remains the top priority. The city public is encouraged to receive the COVID-19 vaccine to protect themselves, their family and community to help reopen the economy and city services. The city of Sarito looks forward to successful vaccine clinic today, which will help bring us to one step closer to emerging from the current situation healthy and strong. Thank you all and uh, of course our uh, city staff and the, all the deputy who's sort of helping us today. Say, thank you all. I guess next is the uh, Dr. Sean Koshari from CFFHEL. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much uh, for that introduction. And I'm, I want to, my name is Dr. Kasari. I'm uh, the assistant CMO for Center for Family Health and Education, who is in partnership with Sheriff and the city of Cerrito, bringing this event here today to vaccinate as many people as we can. As it was alluded to before, we've been doing this all along since January when it started and through generous support of sheriff department, we've been able to vaccinate well over 35,000 so far. And I am proud to be part of this effort in bringing safety and finally beating this pandemic. Um, as of today, 63 million um, people have been vaccinated in LA County and that's a huge, huge accomplishment. But as it was said before, there's a lot more that needs to get done. And we are here to help uh, bring vaccine to communities that cannot um, reach their health centers. They have um, difficulty with mobility and we're bringing the vaccination to your communities. Um, I want to reiterate the fact that these vaccines are safe. We've been vaccinating without much events and want to say that please feel comfortable coming in. Your safety is our number one priority. We want to get as close as possible to 90% as soon as possible so we can beat this pandemic together. Thank you very much, everybody.
I'm Cesar Landeros from Center for Family Health and Education, please. Thank you, Dr. Kasari. Thank you everyone for being here. I really like to thank all of you for supporting us in bringing the vaccines out to the communities. Uh, Supervisor Han, Alex Villanueva, Sheriff Alex Villanueva, thank you so much for supporting us. This has been a really great journey and I'm very grateful for all of the staff that have been working uh, many hours to make this collaboration happen. As you know, the logistics of bringing pop-up clinics is not very easy and it's not without saying that this type of partnerships, it's really what makes everything work. Uh, we have been working as a nonprofit with many other organizations, including the uh, Community Advisory Council, to be able to bring uh, the vaccines directly onto the communities and to the most effective communities where oftentimes many of them have been not uh, received a vaccine up to about 30% of their population. So we're very grateful, we're very thankful, thankful and uh, I appreciate that support that you have given us. Thank you very much, everyone. Real quick, I, I should note that the Center for Family Health and Education partnering with the Sheriff's Community Advisory Council, and we have a Chris Chahinian here, who is our, our number one volunteer with the Community Advisory Council, and uh, Natalie Garcia, where's Natalie? She's the lady behind the scenes is making it all happen. And a gentleman who cannot be here today, Jack Kajinian, who has been a huge supporter of this effort. And apparently his wife is expecting, so we're keeping our fingers crossed that it's going to be a healthy baby. And But this is just illustrates how the effort is everyone coming together, rolling up our sleeves, just make it happen. And that's what we need to do in so many other endeavors that we do that affects impacts the quality of life throughout Los Angeles County. So definitely. Any, any questions? That will conclude this morning. Thank you for joining us.